Hi, Andrew with SCW Tech Support again. I uh, wanted to talk to you a little bit about alarm notifications. We've got our device added. If you still need to do that, you can check out part one and part two in the description. So now that we've got our app open, we're connected. We're going to go to the top left. We're going to open the sidebar and we're going to go to alarm notifications. Now this is going to be our running log of notifications in the future, so you can always come back to the screen to see what the most recent notifications were. We still need to activate them, so we're going to press allow notifications at the bottom. This is going to list any systems that we've added to the app. I'm going for my home system, so I'm going to go ahead and slide that over to green. Take it a moment to activate. And then we're going to press advanced settings at the bottom. This will make you repeat yourself one time, so just press your home system again. And this is the important part. This is going to be channel, type, and time. So channel, you can either have all selected, which is the default, or we can select particular cameras that we want notifications from, like the driveway. So second tab will be time. This is going to come in 24 hours a day unless you specify certain brackets of time. So you're able to set up multiple ones, but as you can see here, it's just the entire day. And then type. This is going to be the type of notifications that we get from this camera. So the most frequent one will be motion detection. We've also got VCA, which is in regard to line crossing detection, intrusion, and some of our more advanced detection features. Uh, then we have alarm input. That's going to be the wired alarm input contacts on the back of the NVR. And events and others, that's going to cover all system errors, loss of a hard drive, IP conflict, NVR offline. So once you've got all that set, we're going to press the save at the top right. And we're all set. So now at this point, at any time, we can go back to our alarm notification screen and see that we've got some coming in. Now, each one of these entries is going to list two options. You're going to have a view the recorded footage from that incident, which will be the film strip. And then you'll have a little monitor symbol, which will be to view the live view from that camera currently. So either one of those can be tapped to jump back over to the live view or the playback areas. and you'll have a running log here. Now there are some further settings on your device as well that show what kind of notifications are going to come up, what they're going to look like, so you may want to check your notifications section in your mobile device as well. Just make sure all those are displaying in the right places, and otherwise you should start getting them immediately. These are going to be push notifications, so they're going to come up even when the app is closed, and you'll be able to click into the app from that point. So that should cover it. And uh, check us out in the next video where we're going to be looking at sharing our device to other users. Have a great day.